Hey, this is Danielle over at DIYDanielle.com and I'm just gonna show you how I'm going to deal with some grommets here. So I've been applying grommets and what I usually do is I have to poke a hole using an awl and try to make it big enough to fit this. So I finally went ahead and purchased a rotary punch. Now you can buy them specifically for these and they're really expensive. I wanna say they were like 70 bucks. This I think was like 40. Don't quote me please because I could have pay just as much for this one. I could, I, I'm not a hundred percent. But the reason I bought this was because I have horses and we occasionally need a whole bunch for putting a new hole in the um, stirrup leathers. So this sort of was a good purchase for me regardless versus the other one would have been like a one-time thing. So the problem with grommets is that to make the hole or to even to like apply it. You need like the specific dies that go with it. You need the specific size cut. It's just a pain overall because you have to have a new set for each size. I only have the um, five millimeter grommets and that's because I don't wanna spend tons of money buying each different size. I wanted to get some big grommets for this particular project. What I'm doing is I'm taking some vinyl and I'm just making some siding for our guinea pig cage um, to help keep water out. Um, but I went to buy them and I thought I could use, um, tools that we had on hand and I couldn't, it didn't come out well. It's kind of like a messy corner over there. But, um, so I, I ended up deciding just to use the smaller ones on this, um, mostly just to save money. I don't want to spend $80 trying to get another set of grommet pliers. I don't, I don't know. The whole thing is very frustrating to me because it's just a tool. Anyways. <laughs> enough grouching about that. So anyways, I bought this to do the punch. And what you can do is this particular one has up to 4.75 millimeters for the whole size. You can do four and you can do down to two millimeters. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm actually adding two grommets here. And um, to hole punch, you just put it in like this. I, I You can twirl it to the like largest size. And I go ahead and just punch my hole. I'm trying to put it a little further away from the side because I don't want it to um, rip through because it's going to be on a, it may be exposed to wind and stuff. Um, this is not leather, so it's, it's able to cut it fine. It's just a matter of, I just have to do a couple presses sometimes and kind of work the, um, the piece out. It's a little bit different of a fabric, but as you can see, I can get the little circle up and, um, cut that or pull it off with my fingers. So I'm doing two different ones. Excuse the dirt. I'm in my horse stable here doing this because it's the largest area I have to work on or work from. And so I've been doing two different spots close to each other and just hole punching like this. Okay. So for each hole, you need two of these things and two of these rings. Where did, oh, there's three rings I think here and there it is grab the wrong number so I need or you need sorry you need one of the male pieces and one of the female pieces and I marked my um my grommet pliers um with male and female <laughs> so I don't forget I have to look it up every time otherwise because I don't remember which piece is which I'm sure there's a rhyme and reason to it and I could memorize it but I'm just not going to I don't use them frequently enough and I'd rather just have it right on the item and that way other people can use it too so obviously this is not exactly five but that's fine i would rather have it a little smaller hole than a little bigger so i just push that right in there and I'm trying to hold it right here i don't have my um i don't have my tripod out here and then i put the female piece on the opposite end and then i squeeze it i make sure it's centered over it and of course the female side goes to the female and I just press down like this. And I'm hoping this comes out okay because um, one hand is kind of hard to do, but um, there it is. So that's what it looks like. I'm gonna add another one here. So this is so I can just put zip ties through. So it's not quite maybe what you'd normally be doing, but I just wanted to show you what that looks like. And again, this makes it a lot easier just having the punch. I wonder if any type of like hole punch would work going through thinner fabric. Um, but again, the leather thing I kind of needed anyways, so it made sense. Um, yeah, so that is it. Um, 
I hope that was helpful. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye.